This is from Restored Republic via GCR compiled by Judy Byington. Tier 4 beat us. The internet group shotgun release and email notification could come out anytime in a 72-hour period following the start on Wednesday, 23rd of September. Tier 2 has finished transfer of funds. All Tier 4A accounts have been called in and we're moving. The last group, the Flippers of Bonds, has received the go-ahead to begin payments. Uh, Charlie Ward, quote, They have made a decision to have the currencies of all 209 nations revalue in a shotgun start where all would go at the same time rather than do it in baskets. The quantum financial system that is already in place with USN, the U.S. note, every single U.S. dollar that's in the system will be changed one for one to a U.S. note, and this is why we're going into lockdown right now while that transition takes place. They'll literally freeze time. Will it take one day, two days, three days? Nobody knows how long it will take. Whether you call it a blackout, whatever you call it, they'll stop everything while it transitions from the U.S. dollar, which is the cabal petrodollar, to the U.S. note, which is gold-backed. Over last weekend, there were military missions that ended in the arrest of deep state criminal leaders in the U.S., Europe, Middle East, Israel, Australia, and others. There was a report, a report Deutsche Bank got caught in 10 or $15 trillion in fraud a couple hours ago um, on the 21st of September. The North Koreans, the same thing on Friday, September 18th. Countries throughout Europe went into lockdown, closing their central banks and the non-retail side of major banks. The central banks of England, Spain, Holland, and Germany would remain closed for two weeks. It felt that this was due to the transition of the cabal's old SWIFT system to the new quantum financial system, or the QFS. Charlie Ward on the fall of the Vatican. The reason I knew the Vatican was being emptied was because of our own security guys were looking after the Pope. And also there were guys I used for moving currency around the world. All, all of them employed. It took 650 planes to move the contents of the Vatican to Fort Knox. I've been included as part of the team that moves that all around to back the currencies in different countries. There's an obscene amount of cash and gold that was taken out of there. There's also ridiculous amounts of gold in the Philippines, Cambodia, Vietnam. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been over to Vietnam and I've expected 178 underground warehouses full. Personally, I've been actually been there and visually seen it. In April 2020, the Alliance took down the Illuminati, including the Italian-Venetian families, arrested the Pope and 38 cardinals at the Vatican, took the U.S. gold back from the Vatican and put it at the new U.S. Treasury in Reno in Texas, transferred the Federal Reserve to the U.S. Treasury, and kicked the Queen out of Buckingham Palace. Who are the big three big players, Saudi Arabia, Arabia Israel, and then the Vatican? Days later, Trump shows up at the Vatican, and he presents to the Pope Francis a, ma a massive folder. Apparently, the folder was absolutely huge. Trump said, yeah, take your time, have a look-see. You might want to put your red shoes on, Trump says to the Pope. Trump is saying, I'm not leaving here until you sign some documents for me, and we'll get to why uh, that is. It took the Vatican only that night, and the next day they uh, capitulated to Donald Trump. 